Hi everyone. Um, a few days ago, maybe a week ago or so, somebody asked me about SD cards and how you could actually manipulate them using Arduino. So I had a look through my stock and um, and picked out anything that was to do with an SD card. And there's one which I actually can't find now, but it was something to do with uh, sound. And then there are these types here, which are screens, and there's like an SD card there, and you can manipulate those. Uh, this is the same as an SD card there. There are lots of different types, but this seems to be the main one, the most popular one. The one that you see cheaply and most readily available. And um, I'm going to show you how to use it. So to start with, let's have a quick look at it and find out a bit more about it. So it says micro SD card adapter. So the adapter, I mean, what exactly is it adapting? Well, what it's doing is it's getting an SD card, like this one, for example. This is a very old one that I have lying around, 2 gig micro SD. And um, what it adapts is you can put that in there and you can access the data there or you can write to the SD card there via the Arduino. So that's what it adapts if you like. So let's have a look at these pins. We've got chip select, serial clock, master out slave in, master in slave out, VCC and ground. So, what voltage does it need? I can see a voltage regulator on there, and the voltage regulator says 3.3 volts. So, obviously, VCC on here is 5 volts, so you supply 5 volts to the module. What else have we got? So, obviously, we've got the area for the SD card to get pushed into. There's a chip on there, if I can read the chip, I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know. Let's have a look. LVC125A. Okay, I probably won't need to look at that. You could look at it if you're interested and look at the documentation, it would tell you the pinout and stuff, but since the module's already made and it looks simple, I'm not going to bother. So, as far as the module is concerned, that appears to be about it. Fairly simple. So, there's, there's two things we need to do now or two main things we need to do, the wire up and uh, talk about what exactly this is going to do. And I think I'll talk about what exactly this is going to do first. So I don't know if you remember but a while ago I did a video about EEPROMs which is electronically erasable programmable read only memory. And for those of you who remember the EEPROMs the idea was that there were blocks of uh, bytes and you simply set uh, bytes to whatever you want to store. So if you want to store, I don't know, a value from 1 to 255, you'd get a, um, a cell if you like, and you just write 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 8 ones. And in the next cell, if you wanted, if you wanted to store, you know, 1 to 8 or 64 or, or any other number between 0 to 254, you'd simply change the contents of that one cell. And then you go to the next one, and you could ch uh, daisy chain them together if you wanted and whatever. It was very low level, but this is not a low level. Because when you deal with this, you actually don't deal with the raw bytes, if you like. You deal with the um, the file allocation table. So this thing here, this card is formatted to FAT16, or FAT16. And FAT16 is a file allocation table, and it's actually a file system. So it's not as raw as the EEPROM, you know, with the EEPROM you just write the raw bytes, you say, you know, here's the address, write whatever you want to write. This is not like that. File allocation table 16. So with the file system, you actually deal with files. You don't deal with the exact location on chips, you deal with the files. So you say, for example, I want to open this file, I want to save data to the file, I want to delete the file, whatever, you know. And this deals with whatever's on the card. And basically, the file allocation table deals with uh, the directories. It deals with the files. So it's a bit higher level than the EEPROM. Anyway, so that's what it is. Basically, it's a file management system, okay, which is stored on there. And that's how you manipulate the thing. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is wire it up. And it's fairly easy. So I'm just going to put the Arduino in here. Push that in. Now let's do this backwards. It's a bit easier backwards because you can see the pin out. Bit easier, isn't it? 
So to start with we'll have VCC and VCC will need to go to 5 volts, I can tell that because there's 3.3 regulator on it and there's no pin for 3.3 volts on there so you're going to need 5 we need the ground pin so ground to ground which is there then we'll have chip select and chip select can go to pin 4 then we'll have uh, clock goes to 13 where's 13? there it is then Mosey and Meso. I always get confused with this. I think Mosey, Master Outslave in, I think that will be um, is it 11? I think it might be 11. And Meso, I think that's 12. I'll, see, I'll just check anyway. Okay, it was right. I've got a little cable which is going to go in here as well. And that's ready to be plugged into the PC. So let's just have a quick look at this now. There's the module. I've got my SD card in. I've pressed it in. The SD card has been formatted using my computer, which maybe I'll show you that in a minute. But basically, it's just a case of going to Windows, um, you know, my computer, plugging this thing in somehow with an adapter or whatever. Right click on the drive, then go to Format, then set it all to defaults and format. Um, if you do decide to format this thing, be very careful what you're formatting and be sure you're formatting this card and not something else because otherwise you'll lose data on another volume potentially. The first thing I'm going to do is to format the SD card. So if I take the adapter out, you can see USB drive disappears. So I put it back in, you can see it appears. And that guarantees that basically the device is the device that I think it is. So I'm going to right click on that, I'm going to go to format, then I'm going to use um, default and then default, in fact restore device default and then go to start and then OK. And then that will format it, which basically means it's going to clean it. So now if I go in here, it should be empty. OK, it actually isn't empty, but it appears to be empty, but that's OK. So now I'm going to take it out of the PC and then put it into the Arduino. Anyway, so formatted it, it's all blank, wired it up, ready to plug it into the PC, and we'll do some coding.